In this video, we are going to learn about multinomial distributions. In order to get a multinomial distribution, you need to start with an event that has multiple possible outcomes, usually more than two. There does need to be a finite number of outcomes, though. So a good example of this would be if you were to roll a die, there would be six possible outcomes, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then what you're going to do is repeat this event a given number of times. Then you could find the probability of any ultimate outcome. So for example, if you were to roll a die five times, you could figure out the probability that you get two threes and three fours. So let's look at that example. So we're rolling a die five times and we're specifically looking for what's the probability that in those five times we'll get two threes and three fours. So we're going to do this similarly to how you compute the probabilities if we're a binomial distribution. First think about how many ways are there to get two threes and three fours. So to do that, you should think about, well, if all five numbers were different, there would be five factorial ways to get to have those five numbers arranged in that order. But because we're having two threes and three fours, we need to divide this by two factorial and three factorial to account for repeated outcomes because you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the order of the twos. Okay, so this is the number of ways to get two threes and three fours. Now we actually have to think about the probability. What's the probability of getting two threes? Well, the probability of each three is one sixth because there are six numbers on a die. So the probability of two threes will be one sixth to the second power. Then we're also picking three fours. The probability of each four is one sixth, so the probability of three fours is one sixth to the, th to the third power. So let's just notice where some things are coming from here. We were talking about the probability of getting two threes, so that's why we raised one sixth th to the second power. Then in the next part, we were talking about three fours, so we raised one sixth to the third power. Back to the original problem, rolling a die five times, the five times is where the five factorial came from. And getting the two threes and the three fours is again where the two and the three comes from, down here. Now in order to figure out the actual probability, you would just need to compute this. You could use your calculator to help you and get your answer, which is about 0.001, or about 0.1%. Now let's try to generalize this into a formula for multinomial distributions. This time, we're going to repeat an event n times. So in the previous example, we rolled a die five times. This particular event has k possible outcomes. The formula for the overall probability will be n factorial, which you can remember here we had 5 and 5 factorial, and then you divide by any repetitions in the specific event that you are looking for, the specific outcome that you're looking for. So we'll just call that n1 factorial, n2 factorial, all the way to possibly nk factorial. So that corresponds to, in this problem, we had two threes, so it was two factorial, and also three four, so that was three factorial. Then you have to multiply by the probabilities so you have to multiply by the probability of each of these k parts raised to the power of how many you want. So it would be probability of the first thing raised to the n1 power 
times the probability of the second thing raised to the n2 power and so on until you get to the last part of your outcome. It's definitely easier to understand through the example because there are so many variables in this, but if you understood the example, that's the main idea, and hopefully that will help you a little bit to understand this formula.